Hello, it's Dawn here and welcome back. And today we are going to continue with our series of painting trees. Yesterday, if you joined me, we did a basic summer tree. Well, today we're going to move that on and we're going to do an autumn tree. And I've already drawn in or painted in the, the branches and the trunk. It's exactly the same way yesterday. If you missed yesterday's, just look for the painting a basic summer tree with watercolour pencils on this channel and you'll see how I did it. And this is a very similar process, only I'm not going to do the scumbled one as I did yesterday. We're just going to concentrate on the main tree and we're going to use three different colours for this because it's an autumn tree, obviously we need different colours. And we're going to start at the top of our tree, just as we've done yesterday. And we need to have our colours really fairly ready and we're going to start with deep cadmium and we're just going to dot that fairly loosely not quite so close together as we did the other one yesterday because we are going to be using three different colours and we're going to be using crimson lake in among that lot oh that's quite nice actually not too much of that because it's quite a powerful colour and then to finish off that little section we're going to use burnt sienna so we're going to stick all that in. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So we're going to repeat that process all over the tree. So we're going to we're going to risk it actually and do all that half there. I'm going to wet that in one go and hope that it stays wet enough. And if it doesn't, we can always put some more water in. And again, we're going to start with our cadmium yellow. This doesn't actually show up very much, but it does just give a bit of a glowing presence. So we're going to put that in there, start that off there. Again, we're going to go in lightly on the point of our pencil with our Crimson Lake. Just a few dots so that it doesn't overpower it too much. Like that. And then we're going to go in with our Burnt Sienna. Like that. And we're going to keep on doing that until we're happy with the look. It's quite nice actually if we can have a few branches just showing through there. And finally, we're going to do the other side of the tree. So we're going to put the water on. And this area where you put the water is quite important because it gives us the shape of our tree. So again, for the last time, we're going to start off with our deep cadmium. So we're going to dot that in there, just like that. So we don't need that one anymore, so we can put it back. Then we will need our Crimson Lake, and we'll dot that in fairly finely. And then we will finish off this little picture by putting in our Burnt Sienna like that so we do need three colours any more I think would overcrowd it but using that combination of three colours I think you'll agree or at least I hope you'll agree we have a lovely beautiful autumnal scene here a little autumnal tree now as in yesterday if you wanted a little bit of support at the bottom of the tree you just take I'm using copper beach and of course these are Derwent watercolour pencils and we can just put in a couple more branches at the bottom just to support it. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of our autumn tree painted with our Derwent watercolour pencils. And please do join me for tomorrow and we will be painting a winter tree. We won't be putting any snow on this one. We'll do some snowy scenes a bit later on. But we will be painting a winter tree. So do come back and join me for that if you can. And if you're enjoying this series of watercolour pencils, do please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an upload when I do one. And until tomorrow, enjoy your painting, stay safe and have a good weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye for now.